right guys, so I'm gonna go ahead and jump on and do the Q&As that I received from last week. So as a reminder, we do these for informational purposes only and they should not be taken as medical advice. So for any medical concerns, please see a doctor. So since your breasts are actually always producing milk, they are never 100% empty. So your baby is gonna be your best guide for this. If they're seeming full or kind of like milk drunk or sleepy, that's a good sign that they're done with that side of the breast. Okay, so it's a sign that your milk supply is really good, so that's awesome. But things you can do is you can get breast pads to help absorb the milk. Also, breastfeeding and pumping and expressing milk more often will also help. Another thing you can do is when you start to feel the letdown is you can apply pressure to your nipples and that should help slow the leak. First, yes, this is normal. Um, a lot of times between six and eight months, you will notice babies naturally not wanting to feed as often at night but it's normal if they are wanting to feed more often. If you would like to wean them at night, there is also safe steps to be able to do so. Okay, so what you're gonna do is take about two to three ounces of expressed milk, put it in the fridge, and then every hour you're going to smell and taste a very small amount. Um, and light base is going to smell a little sour, metallic, or also might taste soapy. Some moms will notice this with, within one to two hours. Some it will take up to 18 or 20 hours. Um, and it's safe for your baby, um, but you might notice they'll be rejecting the milk because of the smell and taste. So um, if you are concerned about that, there are different ways that you can... Um, uh, lower the amount of light paste in your milk. Okay, so the first thing is to make sure you're doing it as gradually as possible. So dropping one feeding every few days so the whole process lasts a long time. I'm also gonna link um, to La Leche League, La Leche League, so um, you can get the full detail. All right, and that's all the Q&As I have for today. Thanks so much for tuning in, guys. And remember, they're every single Thursday. So if you have a question you want me to answer next week, go ahead and put it here, and I'll see you guys then. If you're not following us yet, be sure to follow us at Mommy Knows Best on Instagram. And remember, if you're watching this and doubting yourself, you are a great mom. So thanks so much for watching, and we will see you next week.